Hi there, signs of Leo. This is Kim. This is just a reading just because it's not anything in specific. It is the Archangels Oracle deck that I'm using first. And as always, I like to be clear, clear as I can channel for your angels, your spirit guides, and your higher self. I'm using the Hermetic Tarot, the Kipper fortune telling deck. And then right now I have um, Archangel Oracle cards and the moon or the moon oracle i think moon oracle. all right so what you got for us archangels i will look at the book so i um try to get the whole message out to you i hope everybody can see well i hope everybody's doing well everything everything well hmm Are you asking for help? <laughs> I don't know if you've asked. You know, I'm sure you've prayed to angels and stuff like that, but oh wow. <laughs> Seraphim Seraphiel. Um, this is really higher plane on the higher planes of wisdom. It says tune into divine will, open to higher illumination, more inform okay, I'll just tell you what I get from that channel. This is that there's more information for you to get. Um, from other realms. I don't think there's any specific guide for you to access this knowledge. The best way that you can access it is by knowing everything plays a part. So um, the rest is just as important as the food is just as important as the hobby, as the love, as the business balance between family. Everything is so interconnected that that's why there's really there's no specific way um, to access these higher realms except for taking really good care of yourself and getting your body into as healthy and relaxed state as possible that will allow you to access your highest and and to um, get schooled on some kind of like esoteric the logic of God if you could have it <laughs> wisdom something that would just be a feeling a knowing more so than um in words being able to be you know put it in words tune into the divine will and open up to higher illumination if you felt like you hadn't completely awakened here you go there's the kick in the butt this might be um kundalini energy awakening again it can be again especially if you've had that happen before especially with yoga and things like that well it can even be spontaneous there's no actual guidelines to this so you're being called for higher knowledge archangel haniel Seek soul satisfaction. Fan a flame of inner happiness. Getting back down to what makes you happy, your inner child happy. Like those um, dandelions there, you know, that, that she's breaking apart into, you know, how many times do we just sit through our day and and um, meditate and then make a wish or something? It, it just feels really playful. It feels like getting in touch with our inner child, making sure that we don't forget to rest in between work. Because maybe that is kind of like, hey, you're forgetting to play. Or there's an element of play. All right. Anything else for our Leos? Anything else? I think that is all from the Archangel deck. <clears throat> okay, Seraphim Seraphiel. They always have some really pretty, really pretty titles and names. Archangel Haniel. 
All right. Page of Wands. Yes. Or Princess of Wands. This is the Hermetic Tarot, so it's going to say Princess of Wands. But um, this is that good news. It is that playfulness. It almost looks like she's holding a, a dandelion. Nice. I'm going to pull another um, Oracle, I think. To give, let's get us an idea of you know, what's in the moon oracle for you. This one I've found to be, you know, I, I mean, most readings I feel like are resonate on some level, but this one is, it has a high accuracy rate for me. This deck does the moon oracle. Had it for a while. flame of inner happiness do something just for the sake of doing it because it's making you happy or because it will make you happy competitiveness hmm first quarter waxing fire moon two of leaves competitiveness maybe um competitiveness against or about the same thing or in your field maybe that's maybe that's what it's talking about or just competitive like with your goals you know with yourself <clears throat> so i can see why play is trying to come in if competitiveness is coming out because i mean it's kind of all right, it says when the moon moves to the first quarter in fire, 90 degrees from the sun, it face, its face is half dark, half light, and everything is held in balance. However, for the fire element, that is not enough. This phase produces a strong urge to push ahead and bring things to your advantage. It, does, it encourages the desire to win. Okay, so this is um, here as it says there is a expectancy that all your opposition will fall aside in favor of your obvious worth you know you have kind of a divine right to succeed that's right that's right it's your birthright leo let me get a drink of coffee real quick sorry it is your divine birthright compete with a leo i don't know I don't mean, I don't think Leos are that competitive, right? I mean, well, proud, sure, but competitive, well, yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Ambition, three of buds, waxing earth moon, give us ambition. So this is like, you know, well, when you think of ambition, it's, it's the starting out. It's what's giving you the, um, maybe, Look, maybe this is about needing to find your passion again. With this like this, maybe it's like, I don't know where my passion's gone. We'll probably find out where the passion went or where the ambition is or isn't. Because I'm looking at this and I'm getting the feeling that somebody's like completely the opposite of this. That's, <laughs> That someone is probably uh, completely anti-competitive, and um, is is doing you know what they can, but not feeling too too inspired. There's something that needs to be the that there's something that needs to light your fire. Hmm. Black moon is the eight of earth economy. Okay. Okay. Feeling uninspired because of stinking economy. Yes. Yes. I mean, that happens, right? <laughs> That's happening to everybody. Um, finding out what works is going to be 
best here. Um, this is doing pretty good with your pentacles for the most part, even though it seems like there are issues with the economy. That is why the ambition is kind of like down a little bit. I don't know. We're going to get clarifying. I'm going to find out with the Hermetic Tarot now what these are even about for you. <clears throat> Let me also look in the moon, moon book real quick. Because some of the things are a little bit different than just, um, they don't all exactly line up with uh, the cards. So... Gibbous, Waxing Earth Moon, three. <laughs> Ambition. This is a time of preparation for your final presentation. It says um, it's it's critical analysis of what you're doing, being critical on yourself, giving yourself um, time to critique your to critique enough to know that when the big day comes, things will run smooth. Carry out development work and bring it to a completion. So there's something about this not coming to a completion that we need to focus on, right? Black Moon, Earth, um, 8. Black Moon, Earth, 8. Dormant, economy. Yeah, okay. So this is saying, like, it's a time right now, Leo, to decide what necessary expenses are here and which ones can you scale back. And I think it's saying that every little decision is going to make a huge difference. Um, it's the little things that have been making such drastic change, and I won't say headway in your life so far, thus far. Um, this could be talking about returning to parts of a project that you didn't complete, um, and something that might be left unfinished. Understanding that nothing is wasted and just focus on the completion. So two, focusing on a completion here. Yeah. says, returning to parts of a project that were left unfinished because of the need to make progress and then completing them. So nothing is wasted. Everything is ready for a new start at a later date. Yeah. It says you just might require a, a bigger, larger than normal self-discipline right now. So it's about scaling back, cutting back. Um, that's what this is all about. Scaling back, cutting back, um, only paying for, you know, your ne or looking at what are your necessities, what are your nots, um, what advantages or opportunities can you take with having to have this self-discipline, eating habits, changing eating habits, perhaps, um, exercise, health, uh, looking at it as an opportunity to, you know, help you with whatever it is. Whatever it is, always seeing the opportunity. Let's see. Two of first quarter, waxing fire moon, competitiveness. You got the strength card. You got the fortitude card or the strength card. Um, Daughter of the flaming sword is what it says here. This is strength and fortitude. You know, like on gaming, you usually have like your fortitude, right? <clears throat> Or I know, like, is it hunters that have it usually? I don't know. Something something that helps your health. Strength. So, competitiveness. Um, leader. The confidence to know that you can defeat this, whatever this is, that's looking as though it's being competitive towards you. And I will say looking too. There's something that when we when we refocus on and um, bring the parts together to finish something that we left open, um, it will release our burdens and um, 
make life easier here on us. Make make something easier. Not carrying all the weight um, because it feels like it's a, it's something that's weighing you down or that's heavy on your mind. Light and maybe this is about doing less work, more pay too. Ace of Swords, Lord of the Root of the Powers of Air, Ace of Swords. The truth, the information that you need. I don't know necessarily if it. It it's gonna help with something <laughs> that you're trying to defeat. It's gonna give you an edge, whatever this information is. You do have lots of options. Seven of Cups on the bottom. Oh. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords and the Black Moon Earth here with the Eight. Everything's coming out as a challenge, it looks like. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, taking good care of yourself, watching what you're eating, um, showing yourself self-love, uh, how, you know, that's how you have to do, you know, love yourself first if you expect somebody to love you back. Intuitive, psychic, challenge is going to be, can you take care of yourself? And it truly also the things that you ingest that could clear, cloud our judgment up. I'm going to put it up like this because I think that's how it's going to be taken. Um, paying attention to what we're putting in our bodies that doesn't pollute our body so that we're not viewing something through cloudy lens, right? <clears throat> okay. Two of Pentacles is in the reverse here. So it's like Something wants change. Something wants harmonious change. Because there's an imbalance. There's needing to be, like you're needing to take on less. You're taking on too much right now. There's a lot of strain. So it makes me wonder what's not changing or what's resistant because of that being in the reverse. Is it fixed energies not wanting to change something but needing to because of the economy or something like that or needing to because of a health reason six of pentacles whatever it is you know you're going to be successful at it eight and then six plus two is the eight of pentacles here too and this is six of pentacles lord of material success so this change is going to help you bring in lots of success. I don't, I don't see it being harmonious. So maybe this is truly a lot of success coming in rather quickly. Maybe. Also, getting rid of these, uh, or you know, dropping the relationships that. Um, drain us rather than give back to us. So this is reciprocal giving to something that also gives back. <clears throat> oh. Lord of Victory with the Queen of Cups. The challenge to your victory here, Leo, is the Queen of Cups. Can you love yourself enough to see it through? I think you can. And I think you should have confidence. No, this is your card. This is the victory. This is the win. It's the win. It's the recognition you deserve. And it's um, it's excelling. It's doing really good at taking care of the self-love. Therefore, you can receive more. It's giving yourself more so you can receive more. And then Six of Pentacles. Just like a, it's really nice and... Um, successful feels really successful feels like money coming in feels like exchanging gifts too seven of swords is in the reverse how, how i kind of want to see that if it comes out because when it's in the reverse it's almost like um then somebody's not going to be able to fool you you'll be able to see right through anybody um or or maybe you can see through somebody and 
maybe that's what that's saying. Um, I think it's thinking with a clear head to making wise decisions and not being able to fool you. Somebody cannot fool you. Even if they try, they can't fool you. All right, anything else? A victory here. Six, six says it's all about keeping your thoughts balanced. Five of wands, there it is. There's the competitiveness. So there definitely is like competitiveness around difference of opinions, but hey, this is um, just the five of wands. It's, it's games, it's silliness, it's foolishness, it's things trying to knock you off so that you don't have good focus. It's trying to keep a person scattered um, because there's something competitive here. <clears throat> yeah. Might be for your heart here, Leo. We have the King of Cups on the bottom. This could be somebody new entering your life too, represented by the King of Cups. Prince of the Chariot of Waters. Whoa. Change. Official person. Information. Getting assistance. Official person. Might be like Emperor energy too um, with that. King of Cups. Somebody that you might, I mean, shoot might hear I mean this might be somebody coming into your life to help you with change to help bring the truth to a situation or the information that you need for a win even if there's some change because you'll be able to handle this no matter what yeah. and that's what I pretty much got for you guys so that's what I have for you, Leos. Sending you love and light. Hope that you, you know, got something from this. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let me do a cryon card for them. And an official person. It's kind of remind me of the emperor, or it could be somebody that's delivering you message or news that's official. Your body is listening to you. Yes, it is. Your body is listening to you, so the affirmations that you say will help instruct like instruct your body what to do so because your body is listening as you evolve consciousness it evolves also with you along with you you are powerful here leo you are powerful compassionate action is needed and then helping others so compassionate action is where it's necessary not only to see that there are different energies around every situation so that you don't just have um, an emotional reaction to something. It's the old soul that can see that there are probably a lot of Leos that can see that there are energies around a situation um, always way more than what we know and always more detailed and than we can think of. So deserving of compassion, of course. But compassionate action is to see those energies. And if you have been there and you know how you could help to help, it will feel like um, second nature to want to help. And you are powerful. You're more powerful than you realize, more powerful than people like to let on. Helping others and compassionate action. I feel like you have some ideas, some solutions here. And then I've got you carry light on the bottom. You carry light. Light worker. All right, that's what I got. Send you light and love. Bye bye.